out shopping. I'm literally, I'm going to Ikea right now. I've been wanting to go to Ikea for a minute. Get some house things. Siri, girl. Okay. But I'm actually going to make a stop at the thrift store. Like the tea about thrifting is that you will find the best, most unique pieces that like no one else has. I really want to find like a cool, funky dinner set. I actually want to find a couple. Like I want four sets of four funky plates if that makes sense so that's like the way i'm envisioning it the thrift stores can always be like a hit or miss like some days you're gonna find something some days you're not so we'll just see what there is today this green set because i want four different colors the brand is casa domani it's so cute i think i'm gonna get this set I definitely want green. I want a green. I want like a neutral color, maybe a pink. You're coming home with me. Cute. Love that. Yep. I also love this funky shape one. I also got this random lamp thing because Arthur's gonna DIY something for me. I'm yeah. going to IKEA for this paper lantern. It's like $9. And I want that as a floor lamp. You'll see. And Atta's gonna DIY it because he knows how to rewire things. So he's gonna like put a fresh wire in. And I just think this was such a cute base, like this look. And it's so heavy, good material. So for $4, I forgot I had my coffee from this morning. Still warm because it's in the Nespresso travel mug. That is warm. That is still like fresh. Anyways. In 2.3 kilometers, turn right onto Henley Beach Road. We're in Ikea. Um, this is the lantern that I was talking about. This is $9. It's made for hanging, but I can see it as a lamp on my floor. So like, I just want one and it can just chill on my floor. I have a vision of a lantern lamp and I try to look at it online and they just didn't, didn't have it. What am I here for again? I wrote a list. Things for drying dishes and lantern lamp. Oh, I literally, I'm just here for a lantern lamp. What the heck? This is what I've come for. Yay! Time to put everything in its place now. Because you know, the past is It's night time now. It's literally 11 14 pm. I have not moved from this spot. And I didn't even finish organizing everything because I realized I have not edited my Bali vlog, which you guys would have now seen already. But I am like, I've got a backlog of videos obviously from the travel. So I had a bit to catch up on and I've been so busy with the house that I forgot that I have to edit the vlog and post it tomorrow. So it's done now. I'm just doing the last proof watch. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the travel video. We're now on to the house content and being at home with family. I already want to go on another trip. Don't even get me wrong, but I just feel really grateful that I have this house. So I'm not complaining and I want to enjoy this space as much as possible because I have to export this video and then upload it for you guys. Yay! Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so tired. We're working from home tomorrow, so... shopping again I'm so sick of shopping I'm you would think I'd like shopping no shopping is not my thing actually I think this is why it's because I am the most indecisive person normally I like to go into a shop knowing exactly what I'm buying and then just leave but that isn't the case for like house things I went to Kmart and I got this and then I finally got some cutlery. Like I've literally been living off the same three pieces of cutlery. So I'm just gonna organize all of these. And then I actually wanna, I think I can organize my closet today. Yay. Oh wait, ta-da! I can finally finish my dining set. This is my fourth little bundle. I got this from Harvey Norman. Look how cute, and it was on sale. I got these for like, I think these were $3. So now I can like finish my set. I finally got this rod installed yesterday. I've been waiting for this to get installed 
so that I can organize my walk-in wardrobe. So I'm gonna do that today, but yeah, I've been waiting for this because I hang everything. Like my goal is to not have to fold. This is where I've been storing all of my clothes in the spare room. They're all ready to go. I actually spent a whole night steaming my clothes, I had the steamer here, I had K-drama going on, and now my clothes are all ready and fresh, ready to be moved to the wardrobe, so. Ah, uh, where do I start? What should I do? I'm thinking tops, pants, outerwear, Dresses. I like to color coordinate my stuff. So I'm gonna color coordinate as I go. Tops up here. Guys, I can barely reach. I'm gonna need a stool for the kitchen and a stool for my own wardrobe. That's so funny. Colors in the corner. Is it me or do I like, I don't have a lot of clothes. That's all my tops and pants, and as you can see, they're always the same colors, except for these ones. The color gets hidden. I did give away a lot of clothes, like I gave away so much clothes, I like to recycle my clothes a lot, you know, seasonally. I love it. Jackets, time to do the jackets. That's all my jackets, TBH. And then I think I'll actually put dresses in that corner. And then I think I put like gym coats and pajamas here. Wow. The gag is that is literally all the gym wear and my pajamas that I have right now. The rest are in my laundry pile, but to be honest, I actually don't have a lot. Like I need new gym wear and new sleepwear. And it's crazy because those are the clothes I wear the most. I think we're done. Actually, no, we need to do this. But first, guys, I'm a very sentimental person if you didn't already know that, but I like to keep things from memories and these are literally all my school jumpers. This one here, so the one at the bottom, is my year seven jumper. Year seven, it literally says year seven and it was from 2008. That's crazy. And then I've also got year 12 jumper, seniors, class of 2013. This year is our 10 year anniversary. Like 10 years? I don't wanna talk about it. But yeah, I just kept it for memories and then I even have, I took this from Atta, old soccer jersey from when he was like 10 years old I think and I was like Atta, I'm keeping this. So these are actually going to go in my memories box. I've just currently got all like this stuff in this luggage right here. I still need to buy a box to put these all in because they used to be in cubes and that broke. But I love to keep things that like just remind me of a certain time of my life or that are just memories. And let me show you a couple of things. This right here is literally like all my school things. Anything related to school, I've got all my awards that I've received ever since reception, all my report cards, school photos are in here. I even have artwork in here, like, hold on. I even kept um, newspaper articles that I was in. Hello. This box here is actually stuff that I've been given. It's actually also from my sister when she asked me to be a bridesmaid, so I kept that. This is from my niece and nephew, and their writing just kills me. It's so cute. Tita Adele. I love, I love. Ooh. This one will actually make me cry. This one is my dad's writing, um, just like a random card he found, and he said, hello, Bubba, that's your food. Before work one morning, he made me food, and I took it to work, and this was the little note he left me, and I had to keep and it. And then these are from Atta. Some just cute notes that we've literally, just cute notes. This is a random piece of paper, it's so funny. This is like a drawing that my brother drew of our family way back when, like when I was a baby. Uh, my eldest brother drew, actually drew this and I found it when we were moving houses and I was like, I'm keeping this. Cause that was hung up in our family home for the last 20 years. These things are probably like some of the most prized possessions of mine. If my house was on fire, this is what I'm taking with me. I'm not kidding. These are photos from the 1980s of my parents and they are the best photos in my life. I literally, I love these so much and I just want to keep them and preserve them so well. This is my dad in the 1980s in Saudi Arabia. Um, he was working away and he would actually take these photos and write on the back of them like it was a letter and actually send it over to my mum. Um, and that's how they would communicate because there wasn't any, you know, internet back then. So this is literally how they communicated. And my mum 
you know what? That's why I'm such a sentimental person and I love to keep sentimental things is because my mum. Like, my mum keeps memories. My mum loves taking videos. My mum loves taking photos. And I kind of have adopted that from her. So anyways, that's these. I'm not going to hang these up in the wardrobe. It's, there's no need. It's not like I'm going to wear them. So I need to get a box. I'm so sorry. I got distracted. I bought this cube from Ikea today. It's actually got two compartments, which I love. Um, and I'm actually gonna use it to put like all my undergarments, my socks, because I actually didn't get any drawers put in. And I hang everything, so this is literally perfect. And it fits, look how perfectly that fits. <gasps> I love it, it's gonna go it's in It's literally the most perfect fit. What the heck? So this is what we got. I switched it around a little bit so I put my accessories towards the back. So they also have a place now. These are like my hats, uh, like my scarves and my gloves. So they're there with my socks. And then up here I've just got like all my glasses. Can you tell? Glasses are my favorite accessory ever. Like I love my glasses. Um, and then I just got a little mini perfume collection here. I feel like this could look better, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, and then here I'm actually going to put all my hangers in the corner because every empty hanger should not be up here. If there's an empty hanger, you always put it back out of the wardrobe. Honestly, I feel like I watched a Keeping Up With A Kardashian episode where Khloe Kardashian was in her wardrobe and she was like, why are there empty hangers? They should always be out. And I was like, that is so true. So I always keep like, all my empty hangers are either to one side, but now I'm just gonna put them in that box there so that whenever I have clothes to hang, all my hangers are ready to go in one place. Like it's so convenient. But the main issue is like shoes. Where do I put my shoes? A bit of a mess when it comes to shoes. So I'm just gonna figure that out another day because I'm tired, I wanna rest. But yes, we did it. Um, it feels so good because my bedroom is really starting to feel like a bedroom now. I look crazy. I don't know how I'm trying to do rope curls, but these are soft. I don't think I did it right because they're like kind of loose so I don't know what to do. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to go to bed. Excuse how I look. But before I do, look what I just posted. Ta-da! This is a film photo from Paris, which is cool because um, like I literally was walking in the streets of Paris and this lovely lady came up to me and was like, hey, can I take your photo? She takes film photos. And then we had like a mini photo shoot. Um, and then she just sent this to me, so I uploaded it because it was just really cool. Like I just love meeting other creatives and like seeing their work. It was so cool. Like the fact that she just came up to me, I was like, yes, because we both had cameras. Like I had my vlogging camera and she had her film camera. So, so cool. I love creatives. I just love it. I love people's work and I just want to be around creatives, you know. So much respect, but yeah, anyways, good night.